Hello Internet, I'm Bernard Sves, the Tiki Specialist. And in this tutorial, we'll see together the basic usage of my favorite plugin in Tiki, the Plugin List, a wiki plugin that can return and output data from your trackers, file galleries, forum, blog, almost anything in Tiki. And yes, in my last Tiki Express tutorial, I said we'll talk about the custom search plugin. But as the custom search is using the syntax of the plugin list, it made sense to learn first the plugin list usage and its syntax, then later on the custom search plugin. It happened. But before we start, I had a wonderful surprise from Erich from Germany that sent me an old original PlayStation Guncom. Just how I really, really, really appreciate and thank you, my friend. I have an old system to restore and it will fit nicely with the set. A big thank you. Uh, and if you too have old video game system or unused guitar stuff, don't throw it away to the trash. Help the planet, send it to me and they will get a second life. That's a great way to support my Tiki channel and fill up my do a monthly video energy bar. Back to Tiki. Tiki 21 Alpha has been released and soon a new long-term services version will be available with an incredible list of new stuff. You can follow the progress at dev.tiki.org slash tiki21 or doc. Uh, the link will be in the description. By the way, for this video, I upgraded a Tiki 20 into Tiki 21 to demonstrate the power of the plugin list. But enough for the intro, let's start. Thanks to our community, Brightest Mind, Tiki integrates the Wiki plugin list, a very powerful and flexible plugin that is able to retrieve any data indexed in the unified index. If you have data to be collected, displayed, searched, filtered, shared, etc., using the plugin list is a must, and the options and ways to integrate it keep on improving, making Tiki a complete web application builder. And as I mentioned, it can be combined with the plugin custom search, uh, but also with other functionalities like the wiki page or plugin like the plugin list execute. In this Tiki Express tutorial, we'll review together the Tiki Unified Index, how to refresh the Unified Index, the plugin list control blocks, we'll create together our first simple plugin list, how to use smartly the alternative block, how to configure a plugin list using a table template, how to configure a plugin list to display files and a carousel, how to use it with Smarty templates, the debug tools available for the plugin list. The plugin list use and rely on the unified index of Tiki to get data. What is not in the unified index you won't find using the plugin list. A minimum of knowledge of how the unified index work is therefore recommended. Here a link that you should use regularly as reference doc.tiki.org slash unified index. As you can see, there are data related to your own input, like the value of a wiki page title or a tracker field value, but also data created by Tiki, like the modification date of an object. The unified index need to be rebuilt regularly to stay up to date and serve the real state and real content of your Tiki. It is done in the control panel, search, rebuild the index. If you have a big amount of data, pages, items, files, forum posts, etc., it may take time and you may need to adjust the memory and the timeout threshold about the default one to complete the operation. For the tickets I'm taking care of, I usually set a Tiki scheduler task that automatically and regularly run. And I rebuilt the index using the common line console that is integrated in Tiki. Check this link, doc.tiki.org slash console, to find out how you can, if you are an advanced admin and have access to your server shell, launch and interact with your Tiki instance. The plugin list use different control blocks to create pagination, to filter and sort the data, to produce the output or the result, to format the data if needed, and to display the data. Alternatively, another block, alternative, can be defined to display output when an individual item, a row, from a search has no value. So it is possible to personalize the message when nothing is returned. 
I'm giving you very basic definition and you can find more information on the plugin list page at doc.tiki.org slash plugin list. All the links will be in the description below the video as usual. The pagination block control how much row of data will be displayed in the page. You want to avoid long time upload pages on the internet and rendering a lot of data is taking a lot of time. You can limit the numbers of items or define offset settings using this block. The filter and sort block do what they say. Filter the output with specific criteria like a tracker ID or a specific username and sort to sort the result alpha numeric ascending, numerical descending, by date, by range of date or even distance, etc. The output block defines what template to use to display the result. You can set it to use a built-in template, like table, carousel, media, etc. Your own wiki template from a wiki page, your own smarty template from a wiki page or from a file on your server, or an inline template. It also has some parameters like inline editing and report. The format control block is used to format the resulted values. It is used to display human readable dates, to display a label from uh, the value uh, of a tracker field, and also to set a default value if there is no value in the result. The display block is used to display something at a specific place, either in the body of the format block or directly in the body of the output block. It can be used in a custom template. Again, this is super basic and I suggest you to read and reread the doc of this advanced wiki plugin. Let's create our first plugin list. I open a Tiki that was originally in version 20 and was just updated to Tiki 21. I needed a Tiki with data and I picked one I'm working on and not a default installation to demonstrate the plugin list. This Tiki is in French and about selling and renting properties. So the use case is pretty simple and you'll understand very easily what you are going to see. I will show you how to use the syntax you can find in the Tiki documentation. Again, all the links will be in the description at the bottom of the video. I start by writing the wiki plugin list tags and I add right away a filter so we don't see all the indexed object of this sticky. This filter is set to get objects that have a tracker ID that is equal to 3. Most of the plugin parameters are working using a variable and a value. It should be equal to, like in this example. In short, here I want all the object and there will be only tracker item here, of the tracker tree. Save, and we have a list of tracker items from the tracker tree. Those numbers displayed are my tracker items title, an option you can set in the tracker list settings. Let's add pagination, so we limit the number of items we want to see. Save, great. Now we can sort them from the smallest to the biggest. As this is numerical, I'll use the numerical parameter ascending and on the title. Save. Perfect. Let's define now what we want to display. We create an output block and to demonstrate the simplest way, I'll use the display parameter so you can see how it works. I want to display the ASP number, an internal reference used by this business. I set a display block and I set it to display this value using its tracker perma name. I have to add tracker underscore field underscore before the perma name so it looks like this. Great, let's add more fields. What do we got here now? The ASP number, the town, and a number instead of the type of transaction. Those values come from a drop-down field where an internal value is stored and that value equals a label you've entered in the drop-down field type options. To see the human readable version, 
the text we expect to see here, I add underscore text to the perma name. Note this trick because you may encounter cases where the returned value is not what you expect and may think something is broken. We'll see later that we can achieve the same using a parameter in the format block. Great, but what happens if I have no result? This can happen because of a search criteria, when there is nothing to return. It may also happen because of a permission that doesn't allow you to see any result. By default, a non-very instructive message, no results for query, is returned. Let's make it smart using the alternative block at the end of our output block. OK, different but not so smart. But now we know we can customize it and it accept, like the output block, the wiki syntax and wiki plugin. I will use here a wiki plugin remarks box to display a simple message, but nicer. But I could also have set it with more explicit text, button, icons, etc. Note that not every wiki syntax is working here. For example, to insert a link is a tricky thing to do. Experiment, test, and add a comment under this video to share what you've learned. Okay, let's turn this into a more useful and real-life example to display a listing of the properties. I'll add the template variable and assign table to it. For each column, I set a label to be displayed and give a field reference so I can use it in my display block and link it to the corresponding format I can also add sorting tools on the column itself and even more advanced, I can add table sorter to the party. Let's add the corresponding format to this field. It starts to be complex, but I'll pass the complete code used here at the end of the description of this TK Express tutorial so you can reuse and test. We have now the ASP number the type to know if the property is to sell or for rent, and the town and the price. We have back an issue with the type that display an internal value. Add the format tracker render. Tracker render is a very useful format. It means display this value like it is shown on the tracker interface. And if we are here, another very useful parameter is the default parameter. If a field is empty by default, there will be a long message to tell you that no value were entered. Using default, you can set what should be displayed. Here it will display nothing, but I can insert whatever string I want or, in case of images, a file ID of the default image to display when there is none in the field. Let's stop with trackers and look to something else. We can also work with files and images using inside the display block a wiki plugin. We can use buttons, icons, CSS styles, etc. This time we'll use the IMG wiki plugin and the carousel template. I want to display first all the files having this ASP number in their name. Great, I got files, but I want to see pictures here. I create an output block add a display block for the photo and in my format block I set a plugin IMG using the object ID to display the image from of the files returned. Images. Using the same parameters I add now a carousel parameter and body settings. I just did a copy paste from Tiki documentation and that's a good way to start. I also enclose it in a 15-person wide div so we can see all the plugin results in, in the page. And we got a sweeper. And from here, you can start to design it to avoid this different image where I, for example. We can add many things. It's all configurable and integrate into a bootstrap design in a wiki page. I create very quickly and just to demonstrate here a page using a plugin list with a smarty template. Here how the Smarty template was selected and inserted. Here the Smarty template using another wiki plugin to include the content of a wiki page 
and to link together two plugin lists for the display. In one plugin list for each, I return the items of a specific tracker and using one of the returned value, I look into the file gallery to retrieve one of the picture using the same value. There is at the bottom a pagination block. Voila, voila, voila. With Smarty and Tiki, you can manipulate variables to calculate, use data, etc. No limit. It can happen that you get lost and unsure of the exact information you can retrieve using the plugin list. We integrate a super useful tool to test your plugin and see all the information you can get in the result and use them. Go to Settings, Control Panel, Search, the tab Tools and click on this very long link. Here, I just grabbed the code of my first file test and pa paste it and add the proper output to debug the result. Many, so many value and field that you can use to create, report, listing, calculation, whatever you want to present. With some work and patience, you can really achieve whatever you want with your data with Tiki. And that's why I keep saying that Tiki is a web application builder, nothing less. So start today, experiment, read the documentation, failed and retry. Use our forum and ask for support if needed or are a Tiki consultant, links will be below. It's not easy, but copy past at first will help you and it works just fine for a beginner. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comment, like and share this video, of course. And there will be more video tutorial on the plugin list, the trackers. If you don't want to miss one of my Tiki Express tutorial, subscribe and smash the little YouTube bell uh, that just here. I'm also considering having a kind of uh, answers and questions, maybe on video, maybe a live chat session. I don't know yet. If you got ideas, post a comment under that video. Thank you again for what, thanks again for watching this Tiki Express tutorial. May the power of Tiki be with you. And may the power of Bootstrap and Tiki be with you. Why Bootstrap? I don't know, but that's nice for the blooper.